Militiamen. March 20, 2023 CBI Governor Alok talking about Iraqi dinar becoming a major currency, the central bank is trying to reevaluate all monetary policies and to control the dollar in the parallel market expanding the circle of direct dealings in international currencies. That was back in February, they were including, yuan, euro, yen, and dollar. Why is that important? Because they're going to try and facilitate the transfer of money in international trade in foreign currencies, with the Iraqi dinar. As far as I can tell that happened, I think we can take it seriously that something's really up, the migration of the ISO 20022 is an international payment transaction system that starts the 18th to 19th. The data is out there. It's not something they're gonna not do, as of yesterday they're basically stating that they have no delays and they're going to migrate. Frank 26. March 20, 2023. Question. Will there be taxes on our exchange? Yeah. Please don't present this as not a capital gain tax. On what planet did you ever not pay taxes for anything? You pay taxes for everything, be around so that you can pay taxes. Note, different gurus have differing views on taxes and obligations of exchanging IQD. Consult your tax professionals to determine the taxes for your unique circumstances. Nader from the Mideast. March 20, 2023 I'm surprised the rate hasn't changed yet too. A lot of friends of mine they're surprised. We see. Monday is the 20th anniversary of Iraq. We'll see what's going on. Zig's Place Zig's Place Chatroom News. Sunday afternoon March 20, 2023 Zig's Place Chatroom News Sunday. Afternoon March 19, 2023 Butterfly The Central Bank imposes the electronic platform on all banks and exchange companies, document, Economy February 19, 2023, 1329 Today, Sunday, The Central Bank imposed the electronic platform on all banks and exchange companies, starting tomorrow. The bank said, according to a document addressed to all licensed banks, all exchange companies, and all licensed foreign currency mediation companies which all Sumeria News reviewed, that it was necessary to adopt the electronic platform for the cash sale of foreign currency, as of Monday, corresponding to February 20, 2023. He added, the bank or company that does not use the aforementioned platform will be denied access to its weekly share of cash, dollars. Butterfly Link Sheila posted Sunday, March 19, 2023, tomorrow is a very exciting day for all of us. We begin our journey into the digital asset-based trading ecosystem through ISO 20022. The final phase of development in the QFS will be a determination made between stablecoins and digital tokens. Stablecoins are backed by commodities with a fixed rate of a commodity value placed on them. Digital tokens are value derived by the amount of money held in a customer's digital wallet. The banking system believes that a more stable rate can be placed on digital tokens versus stablecoins. Both tokens represent stability and security for the holder of them. The commodity system that backs both of these assets is held in the custody of financial institutions who mint them. When all of the dust is settled on the coming transformation of our markets currently being tokenized, we will then be able to place tangible monetary values on the currency, digital currency sector of the market to support them. Legislation on our monetary reforms will be formulating and becoming visible this month. As Congress votes on this final process and development of the QFS, we will get a clearer picture as to when and how our currency revaluations will take place around the world. Sheila posted Sunday, March 19, 2023, 8 a.m., on Monday, March 20, 2023, more than 11,000 institutions in over 200 countries and territories, their vendors and technology teams, and many domestic payments platforms will start their migration to ISO 20022 for payments and related messaging. This is one of the largest migrations ever taken by a financial institution in the history of our world. It is a life-changing event that will affect every person around the world. I want to personally thank each person who has followed me since early last year on this journey to learn about this new digital banking system, but our work is not over just yet. Once we have this payment system in place that will unify various payment systems from all over the world, we can then formulate prices on the digital currency values and currency values going forward. It is an exciting time for all of us. https colon slash slash com 
O slash insights slash blog slash ISO 20022 new Don Sheila so in light of what Goldilocks is saying, it looks like it could be at least 10 maybe up to 30 days for full migration, implementation? Not to mention working out the error codes and patches needed to fully integrate with data and referential integrity? Zig Sheila, we gonna be rich soon? Sheila Zig soon. Ish, lol lol Zig holding breath, lol Sheila Zig with mirrored accounts in this new system, then currency revaluations could provide asset-backed financial system which we have come to identify as QFS. Sheila we shall wait and see how this week unfolds. Zig, fingers crossed, Dave been waiting over 750 weeks fair this to unfold. What's another week Zig, joyous, Sheila Zig I am quietly excited. Dave, Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Butterfly Sheila keeping fingers crossed Zig but seriously. Nothing much excites me in this any longer. But I will remain hopeful Butterfly what excites me is seeing how Iraq has evolved. Sheila ditto Dave now have reliable power? Dave IQD now 1550? Butterfly like with occult mind, it takes years to cleanse. Iraq is learning how to live in a sovereign country when living under a dictatorship for decades. Sheila paradigm shift Sheila ripple effect takes time butterfly a big one Sheila Dave cult mines? Where be Ukraine, Asia? Butterfly I hope the month Ramadan doesn't hold up moving forward in Iraq. Sheila Dave only need one linchpin event or shotgun start. Iraq has consistently been touted as the leader of the pack for revaluation slash currency reset. Dave Yepers Sheila Dave Ukraine, Asia are political hot spots. Iraq is financial hot spot. Dave Iraq has the most with the least Zig Dave, untapped potential Dave tapped with corruption butterfly Dave every country has corruption Zig who let this negative guy in here? Lol butterfly we are facing a lot of corruption right now butterfly Zig with negativity you throw positivity Dave call it hopium? Dave Iraq listed as one of the most corrupt nations in the world Sheila Dave yes. Corruption is one aspect of their transition. We are seeing it because of the financial shifts. Butterfly I say we are seeing this because we are invested in their currency. If we weren't, we would have no clue, or no interest in Iraq. Sheila Dave believe more good than bad at this point. My opinion only. Dave Sheila agree Sheila Butterfly shine on Butterfly Sheila I agree. We must look at positivity Dave manifest destiny. Butterfly antiquities thousand of years old are being discovered. I know that means nothing to most, but it truly does interest me. Saw New York Times. Com The New York Times breaking news Silicon Valley Bank was under scrutiny by the Fed for over a year for risky practices and the bank received repeated warnings. It wasn't enough. Sunday, March 19, 2023 12.08 p.m. ET. The bank was using an incorrect model as it assessed its own risks amid rising interest rates, and spent much of 2022 under a supervisory review. Sa I am so glad the other banks chipped in to save this bank. Etsy banks with this bank. Thousands of people that craft and sell their wares on Etsy would have been affected as Etsy collects the money and takes their commission and then banks the money digitally to the vendor's bank account. I am sure they run in the millions that they pay out a week. It would have affected a lot of small businesses and would have been a disaster. Large payrolls were kept at that bank to pay employees. It would have trickled down everywhere. Dave Lemming effects. Folks scared pulling money's not a contributing factor? Saw Dave large stockholders pulled out billions days before crash. CEOs took out a portion of their holdings days before. Dave that sounds dicey saw millions of dollars in payroll a week is paid out of that bank. Dave membership has privileges I suppose saw 10,000s of people here in California would have not got their paycheck. Saw Dave membership has nothing to do with it. How about insider trading? Now that would be a better question. Dave saw again being sarcastic. Saw Dave leave your sarcasm at the door. I do not abide by it and it makes you look stupid. Dave Doe. Saw it rubs me the wrong way. Dave ouch. Some may now believe that Ukraine not part of Europe as stated by MTG, think I support that also. Many suggest she be brilliant. Dave suggesting if I was a major shareholder slash executive of SVB I may have pulled my cash out before it crashed. Though very honorable go down with a sinking ship Sheila. 
saw Sheila Bank of America, Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan and Chase were the banks that bailed out SVB. Sheila saw ripple effect, minnows to the whales saw there might have been a couple more but they are back on track making million dollar payrolls there and ETS which is all in the millions so they were completely covered. Why is running their funds through to pay their sellers? They were completely covered for all their funds. Saw they popped for 100% solvent with their company accounts, now as to their bonds upside down they got a loan from these banks to straighten it out. Saw the feds need to stop raising interest rates that make these bonds upside down that the bank bought when there was low interest rates. Saw moral of story for us middle class is not to hold more than $250,000 at one bank and diversify and move the rest to other banks not affiliated. You are insured for that amount by the federal government. Credit unions are iffy depending and need to be asked what is insured and what is not. Saw watch, Chinese president plans to visit best friend Putin next week in Russia written by Blabberbuzz, Sunday, March 19, 2023 Things between the United States and Russia were already tense, but relations have reached a new low after Russia was accused of downing an American drone in the Black Sea. Chinese President Xi Jinping is scheduled to visit his best friend, Vladimir Putin, to show the world his support for Russia. According to NY Post, both China and Russia have confirmed the planned visit, with the Kremlin saying that Xi will be staying in Moscow from Monday to Wednesday at Putin's invitation. The trip to Moscow will be President Xi Jinping's first visit outside the country since his third term began. It will also be one of his first meetings with Putin since the situation in Ukraine began. Putin and Jinping became intense allies weeks before troops headed across Ukraine's borders. They said they have a partnership that does not have limits, signaling that China will continue to stick by Russia. This has been wonderful for Russia, which has been isolated or sanctioned by large parts of the world since invading Ukraine. Meanwhile, the friendship between the two countries has the United States and Europe concerned. The United States has constantly cautioned China against sending weapons to Russia, which President Jinping vehemently denies ever doing. However, he does take the time to condemn Western countries for sending billions worth of weapons to Ukraine. The round of weapons sent to Ukraine will soon include fighter jets. Instead, the Kremlin says this visit builds trust between the two countries, strengthening their partnership. A schedule showed that the two would start the planned trip with a one-on-one -on -one meeting and an informal lunch. Per NY Post. Saw during the talks, topical issues of further development of comprehensive partnership relations and strategic cooperation between Russia and China will be discussed, said Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. Peskov also stated that the two would exchange views and sign documents but did not provide specific details. Recently, China expressed concern over war escalating due to Russia taking down an American drone. While Americans keep a close eye on this newfound friendship, we should remember that China calls for peace in Ukraine. Last month, China published a plan to end the Ukraine situation. China has also encouraged negotiations between the two countries, so President Xi Jinping can help stop the situation in Ukraine. Watch, Chinese President plans to visit best friend Putin next week in Russia. Sheila Top 10 Approved ISO 20022HTTPS-I.IB Co slash CNDGWQG slash pick top 10 approved ISO 20022 FP Kev Buzi EFHHG. JPG Sheila, we shall wait and see what Monday brings in banking and financial systems all around the world. Sheila, this is how the hashtag ISO 20022 migration in Europe, hashtag Target 2, will proceed this weekend and next Monday, 1, tomorrow and Sunday the banks will move their positions into the ECB's new system and check the correct booking. 2. On Monday morning, things will get exciting. Then, the first live transactions will be carried out. Throughout the day, checks are made to ensure that all payments with the correct information reach the correct recipients. Only in the course of Monday will it be possible to determine whether the migration has run without errors. TNT Monday morning March 20, 2023 TNT Candy. Kisses. Al-Sudani. Economic reform must be accompanied by firm measures in the fight against corruption Al-Sudani participates in a dialogue seminar within the activities of the Baghdad International Dialogue Conference Al-Sudani talks about the government's vision in the fields of economy, foreign relations, 
service provision and government priorities al Sudani shows the most important general lines that Iraq pursues in the file of international relations and balance in them al Sudani. Economic reform is an approach to progress and growth and achieving the requirements and needs of citizens al Sudani. Economic reform must be accompanied by firm anti corruption tishwash. This is from Kurdish News Central Bank. We have more than 70 trillion dinars outside the banking system for circulation today, Monday. The Central Bank of Iraq confirmed that bank lending represents a basic pillar in the work of the banking sector, pointing out that it was a pioneer in stimulating the lending capabilities of the banking sector. We will soon work on developing a national strategy for lending, said Central Bank Governor Ali Al Alak, noting, We are now in the process of evaluating these initiatives and benefiting from lessons and putting them in the right directions. Al Alak added, Our focus in the next stage will be on financing small and medium enterprises and the banking sector has reached the highest ceiling for lending. And we have more than 70 trillion dinars outside the banking system for circulation, and this is a very large amount and represents a high percentage of the gross domestic product, according to Al Alak, who indicated that we have completed the development of a comprehensive plan and a broad strategy for electronic payment. He explained, we will monitor banking services in the field and the extent to which they comply with standards, and we will submit a project to establish a company to guarantee loans, noting that the banking sector needs more geographical spread, and we commend some banks that have expanded into wide networks. And Al Alak said, within Iraq, we call on other banks to promote this spread in the regions of the country, noting that lending related to the sectors of agriculture, industry, and services is still at its lowest levels. He stressed, we need to build a national strategy for bank lending led by the central bank. Judy Byington. Monday, March 20, 2023, March 20, 2023, RV excerpts from the Restored Republic via GCR, update as of Monday, March 20, 2023. Note, all intel should be considered as rumors until we receive official announcements, and rates and dates could change any time until we get to the bank slash redemption centers. RV excerpts from the Restored Republic via GCR, Update as of Monday, March 20, 2023 Compiled Monday, 20 March 12, 01 AM EST by Judy Byington Global Financial Collapse Imminent Since Friday 10 March, 71 U.S. banks and 1,400 banks worldwide have collapsed, plus the Federal Reserve was bankrupt, all of which would instigate a global currency reset. Judy Note, 107 recently discussed Project Sandman where 100-plus nations have a global agreement to end the dominance of the U.S. dollar and petrodollar. He stated, most of the conditions to trigger the Sandman option have been met. One of them was the petrodollar abdication with Saudi Arabia no longer requiring the US dollar to buy oil. Another one is tension between the United States, Russia, and China. An outstanding requirement would be the operational BRICS reserve currency. Basically once the BRICS reserve currency comes online, then all of these things are met and all of the US treasuries come back into the United States. So this is planned to happen on a Sunday night. Then on Monday our way of life as we know it is over. HTTPS colon slash slash prepare for change. Net slash 2022 slash 03 slash 25 slash 100 nations have global agreement now being deployed called Project Sandman to drop and end dominance of US dollar and petrodollar slash on Monday 20th of March 1st through hashtag ISO 20022. Currencies of the world integrated digitally with the quantum financial system, GFS, while live test runs on GCR banking transactions would be made throughout Monday on the new Starlink satellite system. Global currency reset, on Monday 20th of March hashtag ISO 20022 when active, were currencies of the world digitally integrated with the quantum financial system, GFS. It was reported that last weekend European banks moved into the GFS with live transactions monitored through Monday to ensure that all payments were correct and reached the correct recipients. Monday 20th of March was the first day of spring, when ISO 20022 went active and according to Bruce, was also when bondholders would have access to their accounts, plus before noon on Monday 20th of March Tier 4B, US, the Internet Group, was expected to receive notification to set exchange slash redemption appointments. On Monday evening 13th of March two high-up contacts reported that the new rates were locked in on bank screens. Tier 1 had already gone, Tier 2 was processing and Tier 4, including us, the internet group, would go within a couple of days. 
Sunday 19th of March RV update, Wolverine, 71 U.S. banks and 1,400 banks worldwide have collapsed since last Friday 10th of March. The FDIC, Federal Reserve, was leaving. We are looking for a global bank collapse to instigate the global currency reset. Nair's Gurus, RV Update by Wolverine, 19th of March Sunday 19th of March RV Update, Oki, not Oki Oil Man, via Twitter, the plane is going to land. No one can control details of the wind speed, navigational system details, or exact flight plan. That is clear and so are the skies. We simply continue to have patience and wisdom knowing that this will come to fruition. It took a little longer to land than I had anticipated because the elevation of the airport is much higher than originally anticipated.